in this video. This is T's Math Tips video number 16 and this is going to be a line segment slash puzzle example. I say puzzle because with math I know it may seem like everything with math is a puzzle but technically there are some specific ways to do certain things. For example adding fractions or subtracting fractions you have to have a common denominator. When you solve equations you must get the variable by itself. But then sometimes, like this example, there are math problems where there's no specific way to do it. There's multiple approaches here, and I think of these as like puzzles, little brain teasers. So we have A, B, C, and D are points on a line. The lengths of the line segments are A, B is 12, B, C is 4, C, D is 7, and D, A is 15. What's the correct order of the points? So I'm just going to make a line segment here and uh, for right now I'm just going to put a dot over here and a dot over here. Now one approach I would take here is maybe starting with the biggest one. And if we start with the biggest one maybe we can start putting the other points on the inside of that. That doesn't always work but let's roll with that for right now. The longest line segment we have is DA equals 15. So it doesn't matter whether you put the D over here or the A over here, or you could put the A on this side and you could put the D on this side. It does not matter. As a matter of fact, I'm going to keep it like this. And I'll explain how our answer may look different on a multiple choice question. So this length from A to D or from D to A, one way or the other, is going to be 15. So I came in here and I have segments 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we got a distance of 15 between these two points. Let's go to the next biggest one. A, B is 12. Now let's make the assumption, and this isn't always correct, but let's just suppose that B is somewhere between A and D. And since A, B is 12, we're going to count from A 12 units. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm going to put a B right here. So this distance here is 12. Now the next longest one, CD equals 7. Again, let's make the assumption that perhaps C will be somewhere inside of here. And if the distance from C to D is 7, I got D way over here, so I can count backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I can put C right there, and that's going to give us a distance from C to D of 7 units. Now the only one I'm missing here is the BC equals 4. And notice my pattern. I went through my longest pieces first, and I made a guess or an assumption that all of my other letters would be on the inside of the two points where we had the longest segment. And it looks like it's going to work perfect because now if you look at the only one that we have left, the BC equals 4, so the distance between B and C is equal to 4. And if we look here, that's exactly what we have. The distance from C to B is in fact going to be 4 units. So uh, yeah, there's the answer. Now, two ways that we can write this answer. What is the order of the points? One answer could be A, C, B, D going from left to right. Or you could do D, B, C, A from right to left. Either one of these is correct depending on whether you're going from left to right or right to left. This is the order of our points. And there you have it, video number 16 of T's Math Tips, a line segment slash puzzle example. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.